Downtown STUPDM 7500 amplifier. This amplifier puts out 7500 watts of max power. Um, it's class D. This is a two channel amplifier. And if you have four ohm speakers, it'll put out 1700 watts per channel. And if you're at eight ohms, it'll put out 950 watts per channel. So let's open it up. There's a power button, some two power output knobs, and there's some LEDs showing you how much power you're putting out. We have another amplifier, and these are super small and hard to see. So one suggestion we have is to make the dials a lot bigger. If you want discounts for Soundtown, you can create an account and you can get free discounts. And there's also these codes, and you can put them in and it'll give you a 10% discount. So now let's take a look at the back. There's the power, there's the fan, there's two speak on outputs, and there's two XLRs, and one link out. XLR are for putting in your left and right audio channels. This link out is new. We have a 5,000 watt from Soundtown, and it does not have this link out. So there's only one link out output, and we don't know if it's gonna be stereo or mono. This is a UPDM. It's a unipolar pulse density modulation. So the amplifier is the latest generation power amplifier with an ultra low power consumption scheme. There are three means of protection. There is overload, input voltage, and temperature. It will work with 100 to 240 volts of AC. It only takes up one rack unit so we can put it in our rack here. We have our amplifier installed into the channel rack and we are going to play Against Time, one of our songs on OHLR SoundCloud. If you follow us on there, it'll help us a lot. So I'm gonna distortion and we are a little nervous to push it all the way up so it's only on halfway and we have it hooked up to four different speakers these are inexpensive and i don't have very much criticism the only thing is that the knobs are so small they're so hard to see if there's any way they can make it bigger it would be a lot better with the sound town amplifier it constantly has a fan going on the 5000 watt it only has it when it's at peak power, but just to warn you, it has always a fan on. This amplifier doesn't have very advanced features like a high pass or low pass filters on some of our other ones, so there's no crossover. 
We're gonna use this amplifier with full range of speakers, the 12 inch and the 15 inch. We don't wanna use this on our small speakers because we don't wanna blow it out and it doesn't have a low pass filter. Because we have a subwoofer output on our mixer, we're gonna also try it out on our subwoofers. If we didn't have a mixer, that would be a problem without a high pass filter. It's inexpensive and it puts out a lot of power so we can put it into our system. We have a similar model, it's the 5000 watt and for some reason they took it off their website. But that amplifier has been working fine and it has a lot of power. Thank you for watching and make sure to share our channel to your friends. We're on our way to a thousand subs and once we get there, we'll be able to support our channel, keep on learning, make music, and keep making videos. You guys are awesome. We'll see you on the next video.